Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make the magical summer ring effect that able to rotate perfectly in loops. You can apply it on illustration or animation scene. Let's start making the magic with Crypt Studio. I start by making the design for the summon ring. Use the symmetrical ruler. Set the number of light to 8 and enable the light symmetry. Hold shift when drag the ruler will make it align to the vertical axis of the canvas. You can adjust it later with object 2. Set the ruler to show on all layer. You can also move the ruler to other layer. Start the design. Try to use geometry shape will make it look more neat and clean. Hide the symmetrical ruler to draw the rune, which is not need to be symmetrical. When the design is ready, draw it into vector ink using the grid. Go to Wheel, Grid. Adjust it with the menu, Wheel, Grid and Ruler setting. Adjust the grid to match the scale of your design. Here is the disadvantage of using symmetrical ruler alone to draw the ring. The ruler is not snapped to the grid, and sometimes the center of the ruler is not aligned to the center of rotation, which may make a bit error when rotated. Grid drawing may be a bit complicated at first, but when you get used to it, it's very fun to do. Create a new vector layer. I start with a circle. Use Eclipse tool to draw it. It will snap to the grid line. Here you can see the square inside is not aligned to the grid. Adjust the grid side to fit it. It's easy to draw vector line for the design with geometry shape. Create a new vector layer and draw triangle. You can see there is overlap line at the bottom of triangle. Use the control point to split line mode and click on the node. Now you can easily erase it. There is various angle of this triangle in the design. Here is the method I use for rotation on the grid without changing center point of the image. Create new layer and draw a circle over all the drawing. This circle will use as rotation ruler for the path. Without this circle, you cannot rotate the part around the center of rotation of the image. Select the part layer and the circle layer. Create free transform with Ctrl T. Hold Shift and rotate it. It will be rotated in step of 45 degree. Press Enter to commit the transform. Then copy the part layer and repeat the step. You can reuse the same circle layer for each part. When finished, match the layer. I create the moon shape with two overlap circles. Make sure the center of the shape is aligned to the center of the image. Resize it by create free transform and scale the ratio of the shape in true property box. Don't drag to scale it because it cannot snap to the grid and will not align to the center of rotation. You can adjust the position of the part by hold control and press down key on the keyboard. Copy and rotate it with circle layer. To move object in line, you can also hold shift and drag with move tool. Sometimes your part is not aligned to 45 degree step. You can put the rotation angle manually in the two property panel. If you put in the minus value, it will rotate on opposite side. You can also use the flip to move the part to opposite side. This is 
how I draw the star on grid. When finished, merge all the vector ink layer together and erase the overlap parts. Draw the outer ring with the same method. You can adjust the ink width with object 2, hold shift and select the line you want, and adjust the thickness in two property panel. Now the magical summon ring is ready. To apply it on illustration, you will need two versions of each ring, the ink and the effect. With this file, you can easily create the beautiful summon magic ring. Let's prepare the files. Right click on the layer, file object and convert layer to file object. Set area to drawing area. Do it for both rings. This will create new Clip Studio file without the background and will crop offset. Add offset area for the blur effect. Go to edit, change canvas size, and give the space for both dimension. Then make animation for rotation. Create new timeline. Set the frame rate to 8. Copy the ink layer and rasterize it. Blur it with filter, blur, Gaussian blur. To animate, select both layer and enable the layer keyframe. To make it rotate with steady speed, use the linear interpolation keyframe. Create the keyframe at the start and the end of the timeline. With object 2, you can change the angle of rotation for the keyframe. Set the angle of the last keyframe to 360. We make the ring rotate in one round. You will have to select the layer individually to set up the value. Shift the last keyframe back a bit to remove the stop gap at the end. Now you have the magical ring that rotates smoothly. You can increase the frame number to make it move slower by right click on the timeline and insert frame. Save them into two files. Delete the blur layer and save the file once for the ink file. Then undo the action, delete the ink layer and use save as to save it for the effect line. The two files will have the same rotation movement and can be perfectly overlapped. To add it on the era station, create the timeline with the same frame rate. Then go to File, Import, Create File Object. Select all rings and effect file and open. Use the Move tool to move it all together to the position. And use free transform to adjust the size. Now you can simply apply the light effect with add glow layer mode. You can also adjust the color by setting the layer color in layer property panel. For extra light, create new layer with add glow mode and paint the light with soft airbrush. Add the light reflection on the character by copy the effect of outer ring and move it over the character. Then clip the layer with character layer folder. Create a new layer and paint the area of effect with soft airbrush. 
Then create a selection. Select on the effect layer, right click, layer mask, and mask outside selection. Hide or delete the area layer, and it's ready. If you want the ring to rotate counterclockwise, set the angle at the first keyframe to 360 and the last keyframe to 0. If you edit the file, don't forget to repeat it also on its effect file. To put the ring on the animation scene, you need to put it on the right moment where it's appearing on the scene. Also, add some transition of appearing to make it look more interesting. I create animation for the character with 24 frame rate. Make sure another file are also with the same frame rate. Create new file. Also set the frame rate to 24. Import the character to the timeline. The summon ring will appear around this frame. Import the file object when you active on the frame. It will start appearing from this point. You can edit the position, size, and color the same way we did in previous part. To put the transition effect, you must find where it's supposed to be the transition endpoint. In my project, the summon ring will appear like the character is casting it. Then the summon effect will appear after, that make the wind effect on her hair. So I will use this point as transition endpoint. Enable the layer keyframe for all the rings. Here, I use the smooth keyframe to create more smooth movement for the ring. Move the inner ring out to create the depth to the effect. You can copy the keyframe and pass it to other object timeline. The inner ring will appear first, so I create the keyframe for the endpoint a bit earlier than the endpoint we planned. Then create start point for the transition. Adjust the object size with object 2. You can also set the opacity of the object on opacity timeline. Click the plus icon on timeline layer. Adjust the timing by dragging on the keyframe. Repeat the step with outer ring. Here you get very easy transition for your effect. You can adjust the gap time by add or remove keyframe of objects. When you save the file, it will automatically appear on the scene. Add extra right to the ring with add grow layer mode. Enable the layer keyframe and adjust the amount of light with the layer opacity. At the point where casting ends, also create glow layer for the light effect to the character and clip it to character object layer. And the summon effect is done. Here is 
interesting effect to add for character transformation. Create new animation folder where the effect will appear. Create a selection of the character and fill the color on the keyframe. Drag the keyframe to new folder icon to create the folder for the keyframe. Copy or create new keyframe and expand the selection. Go to Select, Expand Selected Area, and set the pixel. Fill the color. On another layer, lock the transparent and change it to lighter color. On the layer at the back, apply the blur filter. This will make very easy glow effect. At the point where character transform, I paint the effect with G pen. And add some particle with droplets airbrush. Here I use auto action feature to save time to apply the effect frame by frame. You can check the very useful tutorial about auto action from MATLAB. Check the link in the video description. I also add another light effect with the animation folder. You can also add the camera shaking when the spell is casting. Create 2D camera folder, go to animation, animation folder, and 2D camera. Put all layer inside the camera folder. Then use the object tool to adjust the camera randomly to make the shaking effect. I hope my tutorial gives you some idea about working with magical rings and effect. If you have any question or suggestion, you can also ask me in my Discord server. Enjoy animating and see you in the next video.